So let me show you a little bit about Jeopardy Labs and what it looks like. So this is the website, jeopardylabs.com, and you can do one of two things here. You can create a Jeopardy game or you can find a Jeopardy game that someone else has created. Now, sometimes I do that. I'll look through them. I rarely will find a Jeopardy game that I'm able to use right away. Um, usually I use them just to cannibalize. So for instance, um, I'm actually going to show you the one I did on landforms. And actually, this first one that comes up is mine. Um, but let's look at this one. So you see, you can see here, you can hover over it. It'll give you a preview. And you can see the categories that were done. And you can see the, um, and you can see the clues. So if you like one that's already been created, like you see it and you're like, oh, that's like exactly what I want then you can just click on that one and your students can use that. You just choose how many teams you wanna divide your students into, let's say four teams, click start, and then um, the board populates here. You see the teams that you chose across the bottom. And let's say the team one chooses water and land for 200. They say a large inlet of ocean or sea partly surrounded by land much bigger than a bay, right? And then if they, they make their guess, you click reveal, um, correct response and then it shows what is a gulf if they get it correct you click this click this plus sign if they get it wrong you click the minus sign then your kids don't argue that even though you're the teacher you don't know how to do math which is what always happens with mine so um all right, let's go back out. I'm going to escape. So that's what it looks like when you want to use a Jeopardy that someone else created. If you're going to create your own Jeopardy, let's just go back to what it looks like from the main part. You would click create a Jeopardy game and you would just um, now normally I'm logged in to my account. Normally it would ask you to put in a password um, and then you enter your categories and you enter your questions. So to enter your questions, you type and it and it tells you here, it's traditional in Jeopardy to phrase this as a statement, right? So um, <clears throat> I can I can say any anything I want, right? Um, let's have a question about, let, let's just say that we're doing a Jeopardy on, um, on literary um, elements. Okay, so, um, and again, this is a statement. Um, comparing to things, using like as than or a verb such as resembles. Okay, then correct response. What is a simile? Okay, and then you click continue. And now that shows that yes, you've done it. So here I could put in my category literary elements, okay, um, or whatever you want to title it. And you can call the whole um, Jeopardy, whatever you want. All right, so that's how you use it. It's so simple. I'm not going to save that because obviously I don't really need it. If you have a, um, if you do the free account, it will let you do everything that you just saw. Now, um, if you want to get the paid account, which costs like $20 for the rest of your life, um, it gets you a lot of stuff. So this guy, I opened this so you could see, this guy, Matt Johnson, made this while he was an undergrad student. It's really amazing. Anyway, um, I, I am so grateful to him that I went ahead and did the paid account, which was $20 for the rest of my life. The paid account lets me have a website where all my Jeopardies are, and I deleted all my old ones so that there would just be this one here, but you, you can have tons. And then from this, you can build new templates or add existing templates, or you can edit the ones that you've already done. You can delete it. You can make your Jeopardies um, public or private. Okay, so that's how you work in Jeopardy Labs. But let me say one other thing. If you have... Um, if you have the paid account, it lets you do a couple extra things. You can upload video, you can upload images, you can add more rows and columns, and also it lets you, um, well, there's just a bunch more that it does. You, you, you get a lot for the $20 for the rest of your life. And that is Jeopardy Labs, and I love it. Use it all the time.